Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash. Uh, today we are doing a live. We are doing a raffle. Um, I was gonna do it uh, on the line, and I decided I'm gonna. I, I have a little bit better, more time on my hands, uh, so I'm gonna do a live, separate video. Uh, but we have a bunch of prizes to give out, and we're raffling for. Uh, so in just a minute, we'll uh, we'll kind of flip the camera around. I'll do the draw. I'll tell you who's won. Uh, we've just got six people in it. This one was actually just to support a patron, uh, Chaco. Uh, and uh, so we're we're doing some we're doing some fun stuff. Um, I donated the prizes. Uh, he is getting a new printer. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know if he wants it all public or not, but it's going public. Uh, but uh, he does some proxies every once in a while. So uh, uh, he kind of wanted to make some nice. He wants to make some nice proxies. I uh, might do some to the channel. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, we wanted to support him, so I really appreciate everyone who participated. Uh, but we're uh, we're just trying to give him a few bucks to uh, help towards it. Uh, he supports us so much, so. Um, and a lot of the community. I mean, I gotta thank everyone who participates. Uh, you know, everyone who's done like one thing one time to people who have who are there all the time uh, doing stuff with the channel. Our, our schedules are all different. Our lives are all different. Uh, and so we uh, we just really appreciate it. And when we get to these holidays and we just get a little time to like take a step back, um, just to really appreciate. It. Like it's been about a year since we started doing the channel, and uh, the, just the community uh, and all of you at home that have. Uh, helped us out various ways and just you know just added some fun uh, times when you know it, one thing you learn in life is you can't do everything yourself um, and so times when I'm super busy those people who kind of keep the energy going and bring people in and um, just making a, making our, our group a, a fun place to be around uh, you know we had a point where people were like arguing and stuff and, and generally now it's like you know people get along I'm sure some people don't like us for various reasons but um, just uh, it's it's nice to see everyone getting along and supporting each other uh, to buy them packs for kids to uh, helping everyone else. Uh, in this one, uh, someone uh, uh, wicked uh, gave a pack of uh, gave one of his spots to uh, Tiago, who I know uh, probably supported him in, in, in other ways. But uh, it's just nice to see people giving back and forth. Uh, Mike, who's doing uh, who does giveaways himself all some of the times for us and, and others as well. So uh, you know, if I missed anyone for anything, it's it's not because I don't appreciate you. It's just there's I could. Like do it all day so um, anyways I'm gonna get into this so I don't chat all day but um, uh, good luck everybody uh, there is some fun stuff here uh, it's not super crazy uh, but uh, yeah some fun stuff that I think we'll enjoy hopefully we pull big out of the packs all right I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll uh, I'll tell you who won what and then we'll uh, we'll open it up all right so um we're, we got everything all spread out here. Uh, we're going to get into the cards and uh, just going to kind of reveal the winners. Um, I just quickly actually generated numbers. Uh, I kind of assigned numbers to everybody uh, based on, on how many slots they had in this. Um, and then I kind of just generated uh, four numbers. So uh, the four winners uh, are Devin, Tiago, Yannick, and Mike. Uh, so sorry, Alex and uh, Mr. Wicked, you did not win. But however, Wicked, I just did an opening for you and you did get two time shifted cards. So you're probably going to be happy about that. Um, so now what I'm going to do, um, as you can see, going across, um, there is one to four. So I've assigned everyone a number. Devin, you got one. Uh, Tiago, you got two. Yannick, you got three. And Mike got four. Um, so I'm going to just uh, generate a random number for the first prize here. So uh, the first one is number one which is Devin so Devin you are going to win this prize you get a double masters pack I'm gonna put a sort of slide these up here um, maybe we'll just open that up first so um, so there's just a kind of a few older cards uh, nothing of like amazing value but they're all in pretty nice shape so get yourself a mountain uh, I believe this is I don't know it's fourth edition or revised I mix them up all the time I think it's revised uh, revised mountain very nice uh, you'll see the backs pretty nice a little bit probably probably L lightly played maybe uh, it could be mid-play. Regeneration. So it just regenerates target creature. Got also a Fog, which is a super playable card. Uh, and uh, a really nice card uh, from back in the day. Nice and old. Disintegrate uh, in the red. Curd Ape, which is a, a super... I don't know if anyone's played Curd Ape. It is great uh, in, the, in those decks. And you got yourself an old school counterspell. So you're probably going to be fairly happy with this. Uh, this guy's pretty old, man. Like even the, the dark... See the different colors in the backs here. They're nice and dark. The the, the newer cards you see, they're, they're much brighter. So, um, anyway, so we're gonna open up this double masters pack. See if we can't finish you off with something amazing, and uh, and go from there. So, all right, Devin. All right, what do you get here? Orcish Vandal, Aberration. There's, I mean, the commons in this set are good. Double masters, pretty nice stuff. 
All right, welding jar. Like I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know what they're gonna do. Surpass triple masters, quadruple masters. Like I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do to surpass this stuff. Seems kind of crazy. All right, shamanic revelation. Ooh, you did get a not a not like the hottest of the mythics, but still pretty nice card. Geist of Saint Traff. Any kind of angel deck, very nice. And a mythic metallic rebuke, skin wing, and a partridge in a pear tree. So. uh Devin, congratulations, buddy. I'm going to put your cards to the side. Actually, you know, I'll put them up here. And I'm just going to draw for the next one. So uh, you got three people left in this game. Uh, next is number four, who was Mike. So, Mike, you've got the Zendikar Rising uh, pack. Uh, hopefully, we hit something big and fancy and foily in this. I don't want to show everything to start. I'm going to leave the thing in the back. All right. So it's Cell Sword. Um, I am, however, going to just send you the, uh, the uncommons and the rares. So... Uh, if you want, uh, if you want something more than that, then just if there's something in here you want, just let me know. All right, forest, pretty nice. Uh, Myriad construct, not, not. I haven't really seen anyone play in this card, so I don't know how good it is. All right, roiling vortex, canopy ballast, fearless fledgling. Ah, Morag. Morag's pretty nice minotaur warrior. Still think he's uh, he's got more good time ahead of him. Oh, I see some good foil back there. All right, what do we got? Shattered Skull Smashing Mythic Foil. All right, so we didn't hit the we didn't hit the uh, the absolute home run, but Shattered Skull Smashing is pretty nice, man. And the uh, box topper, probably pretty happy with that. I'm thinking. All right, so I got two possible winners left. So we're gonna do this. So what do I got here? Let's give me a two or a three. It is a three, which is Yannick. So Yannick, you got all, you got the most cards anyways. Uh, which means that Tiago's got the last one. So we'll, uh, we're going to do, we'll do Yannick first and then we'll do Tiago. Well, we're going to save the jump for, start for last. Uh, jump start's either going to be good or it's going to be terrible, right? I mean, well, I guess there's some decent ones in between. Uh, it's kind of a funny set though to open. All right. What'd you get here? You got a Yumori. Got a, is that, is that, uh, Godzilla? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. All right. Uh, Jubilant Skybonder and a something else, which I don't remember what that is. And you got Ram Through and some other stuff in the back. So uh, I'm going to give you uh, none of the commons anyway. So. All right. This is for Yannick. All right, Yannick. Come on. Let's hit a good mythic or some triomes or something. Uh, you got another one of the horsey guy. Uh, all right. We got a mythic. We got a mythic. Vivian. Vivian, Vivian made an appearance. Laura Skildrakis, fight is one, and you got yourself a something, little something, something with a triomi kind of artifact thing. It gives you your tri tricolor land. Not bad. I played them a bit, cycle them. They're okay. Uh, probably better in commander than they are in uh, in 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 any kind of draft or or, or limited format. Uh, Titan's Nest, I think. Oh, that's really nice in the alternate art. He's pretty cool on the Japanese. I really like how that card looks. All right. Uh, what is that? Parcel Beast? Uh, something. And something else. Escape Protocol. All right. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Nothing uh, Nothing like going to make my day. Uh, but nothing. Not, not horrible. All right. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? Is this going to be all? Is it going to be hot trash? Or is this going to be good? Plus one. All right. Is there only plus one plus one one? Or is there multiple... Options. I don't actually remember what's in this. All right, so you get a mythic, so that's something. Primeval Bounty. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 3-3 green beast creature token. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put 3-1-1 counters on target creature you control. Whenever the land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 3 life. That's pretty sweet. All right. Invigorating Surge. Wildwood Scourge is getting some play in, in uh, standard. And uh, Armorcraft Judge. Oh, and you got a Horn Beetle, Truffle Snout. Some other stuff. And what's the land in this one? I can't remember the land. So you got you got the Thriving Grove, which is pretty nice, and the old uh, forest in the in the fun land. So, all right, uh, not wouldn't wouldn't say that's my favorite, but uh, not terrible either. So, all right. So you got the flip card was a World Tree box topper. A uh, really nice card. Been playing it a ton online. Um, as you can see, it's got a little fold in it. I'm gonna put it in a sleeve. It was in a sleeve, but they just don't hold their Things. You gotta flatten it under your car or something, uh, and uh, to getting it better. All right, last, and then you've got a iconic masters, which I've been loving opening iconic masters. I, I feel like I've been pulling great. I love the uh, the card quality 
uh, and the foiling. I, like People are complaining about the card quality now, and yet this set is undervalued in my eyes. The cards are nice. The art is nice. Uh, you see the colors and the, and the bright colors in it. Um, it just feels like the printing quality is good. The card stock seems nice. Um, yeah, so I've been having... You know, i got to find find some more of it because I've been opening too much. I, I, I do own a few boxes still, but uh, I've been I've been going through my boxes. All right, a Johnny's Pride Mate. I need to see, like, good playable cards, right? Jungle Barrier. I remember this card was pointed back in, like, Invasion or Apocalypse or something like that. All right. Trepanation Blade. Oh, come on. What did we get? Can we get a good foil in this? Ooh, Fire Main Angel. Flying First Strike. Bad boy. Bad girl, I guess. At the beginning of your upkeep, if it's in your graveyard or on the battlefield, you may gain one life. Oh man, this goes really well with like Quakebringer or whatever. Uh, and then you can return it from your graveyard to the battlefield, and, and you can only do it during your upkeep. So, pretty nice. A bit, a bit pricey for a four-three. I mean, it is flying first strike, so pretty good. And what did we get for the foil? It's always a foil. Ah, oh, you got a Restoration Angel foil, man. Congrats. Wow, very nice. All right, so I'm gonna chuck that in a, in a sleeve right away. But actually, you know what? They, these cards hold up really well. They don't. Um, they don't tend to need to be sleeved in the first 20 minutes because they're not all curled. So uh, I honestly, I think it's really uh, some of these these sets are, are really undervalued for just how good they are. So, um, anyways, congratulations, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the opening. Uh, we got some real nice stuff in this. I I, I love that. Last pack with a fire main angel and the restoration angel. That's pretty cool stuff. So, uh, anyways, we will do these uh, sporadically for different events and different reasons. But uh, so I hope uh, if you pay attention to what's going on on the Discord channel, which is where I, I do a lot of them, uh, I, I do put them on the uh, Patreon sometimes, sometimes on Facebook. Uh, anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed the opening and the video. Everyone have a great Easter and a magical day. Thank you for watching Collectors of the Coast. Please subscribe and like below. If you like our content, please consider becoming a patron. Uh, patrons help us grow the channel uh, and we, uh, I'll get great deals and more. Uh, check us out on Discord if you'd like to become a part of the community. The information to join the Discord is in the description below.